It's October 20th, 2013, and I'm getting ready to run the second step of these uh, batch parts here. The Z zeroing tool is in the spindle right now. I have the X0, Y0 already set on the chuck jaws. That's uh, X0 would be on this edge, Y0 would be on this edge, so that corner right there would be my zero location. The uh, zero location for the parts is a little different. In this case, the uh, zero location is on the top of the stock. So I have to load that stock and then set my Z0 there. So the material is loaded in the vise and the uh, Z0 position is set on the uh, uh, Z0-ing tool. Uh, one thing of note, the method that I'm using right here does not account for differences in the material thickness. I've made the assumption that the parts are, after the step one is done, that the, that the material is a certain thickness, which it is not exactly. So it's off a little bit, which means that all uh, of the following machining operations will also be off a little bit. Uh, I'm going to see how severe that is at the end of this and see if I need to revise my method, uh, such as maybe touching off the top face of the jaw on the Z0 location, or maybe touching off the uh, top face of the groove where the, the parts actually sit. It looks like they're clamped in there, but there's actually a small gap between the, uh, the jaw and the, uh, the part. So I get down pretty close to that when I'm machining. So it's good to know what that distance is. All right, we'll see how this goes and uh, start the machining operations from here. All right, it's running the fly cutter portion of the testing at uh, 300 times, or 300 percent of the feed rate. Got a weird setting. I did a weird setting with a cam program when I set the uh, clearance plane. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but a weird little hesitation at the end. Anyway, time for tool change. Going through, going through the helical hole entry portion of the cycle right now, the last hole. Now it's going to work on shaping the material. The first step is complete. I was checking out the tool a little bit ago because the uh, the way the chips look from beginning to end changed a little bit, so I wasn't sure if maybe I was getting some chips and the uh, some chipping on the insert or what. But the uh, the finish looks okay. It's about what I've I've received so far. I've received a recommendation for a different insert, uh, an ALTIN insert, which I'll be uh, trying next time around. And so this is the finish as uh, the tool finished. Not too, too too bad. It's about what I got before. It feels kind of gritty on the surface. Definitely a uh, burr around all the edges, which isn't terribly surprising. The uh, next step should take care of all of that, of course, because uh, the bulk of this material will be gone.
the operation that's about to happen is the chamfering on the top of the small ball. Now that the chamfers are complete on the top of the bosses, the next step is actually to chamfer uh, the underside right in this area where the uh, there's a bolt that comes through when this is assembled. Uh, I, need, I need a little clearance for the chamfer, sorry for the radius between the bolt shank and the bolt head. So what I've got to do that is this dovetail cutter. The dovetail cutter is uh, half an inch in diameter and the hole is about 550,000 so the key is to sneak the dovetail cutter down through, I wasn't even able to do it with my bare hands there sneak it down through, uh, finish the uh, chamfer and then pull it back out all without plowing the tool into the part so that's the challenge we'll see if it has all eight flutes when it's done as you see the tool is turning the uh, cycle has started. I'm running at a single block at a time right now uh, to be sure that my alignment looks good. And it does. It looks like it's going to make it down through the hole. Well, the tool survived. Alright, the, all the crud is cleaned off the vise here. So you can see the parts by themselves. Alright, we're ready to take the parts out here, see how they look. They're thin, of course. Look good so far. There's a burr on the edge, which isn't surprising. Can't chamfer it because it's sitting. Uh, I think a little bit less than 25 thousandths above this surface, so it's it's really pretty tight there. It's good. There's a chamfer on the inside. That worked out perfectly. I'm very pleased with it. Not too big, not too small.